the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hi children how is it going i believe everyone is fine the topic you are currently studying will be new to you so listen to the class carefully and read the text immediately never by heart it understand and study so that you will be able to face any application level questions easily so let's move on to the new topic mutual induction look at this figure you can see finely insulated copper wire is wound around a soft iron core okay there are two sets of coil look at this end here this coil is connected to a battery through a switch and the other end you can see the coil is connected to a bulb okay so the coil to which the or the end to which we are connected the battery is known as the primary coil the coil to which battery is connected is known as the primary coil and the coil to which you have connected the bulb is known as it's known as the secondary coil okay so once again the coil to which you have connected the battery is the primary coil and the end at which the bulb is connected that coil is known as the secondary coil and these two coils are kept nearby so my question is what happens when you turn the switch on what can you observe when the switch is on what happens we can see when the switch is on the bulb glows for a moment and then turns off okay when you switch on this circuit when the bulb when the switch is on we can see the bulb in the secondary coil glows for a moment and then turns off switch itta itta udane aa bulb kattum cheyum appo thana adu ananju povum cheyum what is the reason for that so what happens when you switch on the circuit what happens there is a change in the magnetic field in the primary coil that is current pass iyan thodangum alle ee circuit la kuda allengil ee coil la kuda current pass iyan thodangum but what happens there is a change in the magnetic flux due to the change in the magnetic flux what happens an emf is induced in the secondary that is why the bulb glows ivada battery aanu alle it's a direct current what is the speciality of direct current it does not changes its direction isn't it direct current does not changes its direction pinnendai avada correct aid current ore direction il move iyan thodangi there is no change in the flux adu kondana or moment or korchu samayathekka bulb kattite thaniye off aayid so if you want to glow the bulb continuously what should be done ഈ ബൾബ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആയി കത്തിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കണം ഇതാണ് സർക്യൂട്ട് നമ്മളൊരു സെല്ല് ഇവിടെ കണക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇഫ് യു വോണ്ട് ടു ഗ്ലോ ദ ബൾബ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ യു ഹാവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓഫ് ആൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ സ്വിച്ച് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി ഓക്കെ യു ഹാവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓൺ ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്വിച്ച് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി അതായത് ആ സ്വിച്ചിനെ ഓണും ഓഫും ആക്കിക്കൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കണം 
മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ടോ അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ടേൺ സ്വിച്ചിനെ ഓണും ഓഫും ആക്കിക്കൊണ്ടേ ഇരിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് വോട്ട് ഇസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ദർ ദർ ഇസ് എ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ദി മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫ്ലക്സ് ഇൻ ദി പ്രൈമറി കോയിൽ ഓക്കെ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫ്ലക്സ് ഇസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി ആൻഡ് ദ സെക്കൻഡറി ഇസ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേരിയിങ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് അതായത് ഇവിടെ കറണ്ട് പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഈ പ്രൈമറിയുടെ ചുറ്റും എന്തുണ്ടാവുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരു മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ സെക്കൻഡറി ആ വേരിയിങ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡിലാണ് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ആസ് എ റിസൾട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇ എം എഫ് ഇസ് ഇൻഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡറി ദാറ്റ് ഫിനോമിന ഇസ് നോൺ ആസ് മ്യൂച്വൽ ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ സിക്ലിയർ നൗ അനദർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹിയർ വി ഹാവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓൺ ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്വിച്ച് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി instead of that is there any other way to make the flux changes continuously adhaayi the magnetic flux change edu konde irikkan idallade vere edengilum method undo endu cheyan pattum that is instead of this direct current you can give an ac okay instead of direct current give an alternating current what is the speciality of alternating current yes it changes its direction continuously okay appo nammle ee cell um switch ne okka pagare endu cheyda mudi evade cell ne pagaram battery ki pagaram nammle evade or ac source koduthu kaniya kanya continuous aayite magnetic flux la change vannu konde irikkana okay so the magnetic flux in the primary keeps on changing when you give an ac current as a result what happens the bulb glows continuously because an emf is induced in the secondary coil this phenomena is known as mutual induction so how can you define mutual induction yes consider two coils kept side by side rendu coils adutte eduthu vechirikkana whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the primary what happens an emf is induced in the secondary once again whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the primary what happens an emf is induced in the secondary this phenomena is known as mutual induction okay adayathu first case la nammal cell connect cheyna samayathu switch onum offum aakikonde irikkuna samayathu avada magnetic flux ne changes vannu konde irikkunnund so an emf is induced here or if we are connecting an ac source here the, that time also there is a change in the magnetic flux and then emf is induced in the secondary as a result the bulb glows this phenomena is called mutual induction is it clear so once again what is mutual induction just see to the definition consider two coils of wire kept side by side when the strength or direction of the current in one coil changes the magnetic flux around it changes as a result an emf is induced in the secondary coil this phenomena is mutual induction okay can you give me an example of a device that works on the principle of mutual induction yes transformer transformer you all have seen transformers isn't it of electricity boards and all you have seen and there are small transformers in electronic equipments also okay so look at the figure this is a transformer and you can see the symbol of a transformer okay what is the use of a transformer do you know the use of a transformer transformer is used to increase or decrease the ac voltage without any change in power once again transformer is a device used to increase or decrease the ac voltage without any change in power okay that is it is used to increase the voltage or decrease the voltage but there is a condition there is no change in electric power and this transformer works on the principle of mutual induction there are two 
types of transformers step up transformer and step down transformer from the word itself it is clear isn't it step up transformer what is the use of a step up transformer yes to increase the voltage that is step up transformer is used to increase the ac voltage so what will be step down transformer yes step down transformer is used to decrease the ac voltage so now we will study more about this step up and step down transformer yes look at these figures this is the figure of a step up transformer and this is a step down transformer now let's study about this step up transformer see here what is the first what is the use of a step up transformer it is used to increase the ac voltage isn't it and what is the speciality you can see here look at the number of turns in the primary coil here the number of turns in the primary coil is less isn't it whereas you can see the number of turns in the secondary coil is more let np denotes the number of turns in the primary coil and ns denotes the number of turns in the secondary coil and the what we, how can you represent the voltage across the primary yes vp vp represents the voltage across the primary and vs represents the voltage across the secondary okay in the same way here when you look at the step down transformer you can see the number of turns in the primary is more and here the number of turns is less in the secondary what is the use of a step down transformer it is used to decrease the ac voltage okay now i told number of turns is represented by the letter np and voltage across the primary is vp number of turns in the secondary is ns and voltage across the secondary is vs the second thing is thick wires are used in the primary isn't it thick wires are used in the primary whereas thin wires are used in the secondary of a step up transformer and the next thing is the emf across each turn in the primary and secondary is same okay but kore turns undu le ore ore turn il kuda povuna emf um for example e nanu represent cheyanennundengil ore ore turn il kuda povuna emf primary ilum secondary ilum ellam same enne irikkum ഓക്കെ ഇവിടെ ഒരു ടേണിൽ കൂടെ പോകുന്നത് ഈ ആണെങ്കിൽ സെക്കൻഡറിയിൽ ഒരു ടേണിൽ കൂടെ പോകുന്നതും ഈ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ഒരു ടേണിൽ കൂടെ പോകുന്ന ഇ എം എഫ് വൺ ആണെന്ന് ഇരിക്കട്ടെ എത്ര ടേൺസ് ഉണ്ട് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ടെൻ ടേൺസ് ഉണ്ട് സോ ഹൗ വിൽ ബി ഹൗ മച്ച് വിൽ ബി ദ ഇ എം എഫ് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് വൺ ഇൻ ടു ടെൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ടെൻ വോൾട്ട് ദ ഇ എം എഫ് ഇൻ ഈച്ച് ടേൺ ഓഫ് ദി പ്രൈമറി ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡറി വിൽ ബി സെയിം okay let the emf be represented as e so what will be the emf in the primary coil of a step up transformer we can write vp is equal to 1 in one turn it is e so here how many turns are there n turns are there isn't it so vp is equal to np into e okay let this be equation 1 so what will be the voltage across the or what will be the emf across the secondary yes vs is equal to ns into e that is 2 okay now we can divide 2 by 1 equation 2 by equation 1 so it becomes vs by vp is equal to ns into e by np into e it gets cancelled so what is remaining 
Vs by Vp is equal to Ns by Np. Okay, Vs by Vp is equal to Ns by Np. This is a relation connecting voltage and number of turns. What happens to the voltage when number of turns increases? When number of turns increases, voltage increases. Okay, that is the relation connecting number of turns and voltage. That is, when number of turns increases, voltage also increases. Look at the step up transformer. In the secondary, you can see the number of turns is more. Isn't it? Number of turns is more. When number of turns increases, what happens to voltage? Voltage also increases. Is it clear? That is the reason why the number of turns in the secondary coil of a step up transformer is more. Step up transformer in the secondary le number of turns kudu lavan la karananda. Number of turns kudu na then is a rich voltage kudu. Okay, up a step down transformer to no go. Aethil ana number of turns kudu then. You can see the number of turns in the primary coil is more. So, what about the voltage there? Voltage also will be more. Okay, whereas here the number of turns is less in the secondary coil. When number of turns decreases, what happens to voltage? Voltage also decreases. Is it clear? So, what is the relation between number of turns and voltage? As number of turns increases, voltage also increases. Is it clear? Now, what is the important thing about a transformer? I have told, in the case of a transformer, the electric power is constant in the primary and secondary coil. Okay, the power is same in the primary and secondary coil of a transformer. Can you tell me the formula for power? Yes. Power P is equal to IV. Okay, power P is equal to IV. So, how can you represent the power in the primary coil? We can represent it as IP VP is equal to how much will be the power in the secondary coil? IS VS. Clear are you? That is either transformer and speciality in the Nochunya. That is the transformer and the primary letriano power. Atra then the irigum secondary lula power. Okay, input power is equal to the output power. Okay, so input power can be represented as IPVP. Okay, because P is equal to IV. Primary lula power and IPVP in represent here. And the power across the secondary can be represented as IS Bring the common terms together. That is, IP, E, I, S, to In the IP by I, S is equal to, I, S already came this side. What is remaining there? V, S by V, P. Okay. So, this is the relation connecting current and voltage. Okay. So, this is the relation connecting current and voltage. That is, I, P by I, S is equal to Vs by Vp. What does Ip represent? Ip is the current in the primary coil and Is is the current in the secondary coil. What about Vs? Vs is the voltage in the secondary whereas Vp is the voltage across the primary. Okay, so this is a relation connecting current and voltage. We can combine these two equations and write Vs by Vp is equal to Ns by Np is equal to Ip by Is. Okay, so this is a relation connecting voltage, number of turns and current. Okay, Vs by Vp is equal to Ns by Np. Vida matra sradhikana, vida random secondary angle current in the case it is ip okay ip by is so i have already told you as number of turns 
increases. What happens to voltage? Voltage also increases. In the case of a step up transformer, the number of turns in the primary is less. Okay, listen carefully. In the case of a step up transformer, the number of turns is less. When the number of turns decreases, what happens to voltage? Voltage decreases. Okay, so that is the voltage in the primary decreases. Voltage in the primary decreases. So what happens to current? Current increases. Okay, so that is the relation between number of turns, voltage and current. As number of turns, here as number of turns increases, voltage increases, so current decreases. Okay, voltage and current, they are inversely proportional here. Okay, then only they can make the power constant. Okay, a power constant accommodator, voltage could be current correct. Okay, is it clear? So, here in this case, in the case of a step up transformer, what happens here? The number of turns is less, so the voltage is less. What about the current? Current is more. Okay, so when current increases, what happens to heat according to Joule's law? What is Joule's law? H is equal to I square RT. Isn't it? So, as current increases, what happens to heat produced? Heat produced also increases. Okay, heat to kudi kainya, what happens? Adha melt avan sadhidindu. That is the reason why we are using thick wires in the primary. Thinnana nandigil adh pettan melt type. Okay, so the question is why we are using thick wires in the primary of a step up transformer. What do you will write? In the case of a step up transformer, the number of turns in the primary is less. Okay, so what happens to voltage? Voltage will be less. As a result, current increases. When current increases, heat produced also increases. So it can cause melting of that wire. In order to avoid that, thick wires are used in the primary. Okay, look at the secondary coil. Here, thin wires are used, isn't it? Why? The number of turns is more. When the number of turns increases, voltage increases. When voltage increases, what happens to current? Current decreases. So, heat produced also decreases. Our heat is not Okay, that is why we thin wires. Use it. Same way, step down transformer. Look at the secondary of the step down transformer. Here, the number of turns is less. Okay, when the number of turns is less, voltage also will be less. When voltage decreases, current increases. When current increases, heat produced also increases. So, it can cause melting of the wire. So, in order to avoid that, thick wires are used in the secondary. Is it clear? The reason for using thick wires in the primary of a step up transformer and secondary of a step down transformer. So, listen here. In a step up transformer, the voltage in the secondary coil is more and the current is less. But in a step down transformer, the secondary voltage is less and the current is more. Okay, that is in order to maintain the power constant as voltage increases, current decreases in the case of a transformer. Now, let's see to the differences between step up transformer and step down transformer. Differences between step up and step down transformer. Step up transformer increases AC voltage, whereas step down transformer decreases AC voltage. Next one. Thick wires are used in the primary of a step up transformer. Whereas, 
pin wires are used in the primary of a step down transformer next one thin wires are used in the secondary of a step up transformer whereas thick wires are used in the secondary of a step down transformer less number of turns in the primary of a step up transformer and more number of turns in the primary of a step down transformer next one more number of turns in the secondary of a step up transformer whereas less number of turns in the secondary of a step down transformer in step up transformer vs greater than vp whereas in step down vs is less than vp in step up is less than ip that is current in the secondary is less than the primary whereas in step down is greater than ip you must have seen a voltage stabilizer used in your homes to protect devices like a refrigerator or a television set from sudden voltage fluctuations a voltage stabilizer is a small transformer that is used to increase or decrease the voltage of an alternating current source depending on their function transformers are classified as step up and step down transformers a step up transformer is used to increase the voltage while a step down transformer is used to decrease the voltage both types of transformers work on the principle of electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction is the inducement of electric current in a circuit placed in a strong magnetic field a transformer is made up of many layers of rectangular soft iron frames that are insulated by painting and stacked together to form the core a coil of insulated wire is wound on one arm of the core and is connected to an ac source this is called the primary coil this coil serves as the input for alternating voltage similarly another insulated copper wire is wound on the opposite arm of the core this is called the secondary coil from the ends of this coil the output alternating voltage is obtained the number of turns in the secondary coil is more than the number of turns in the primary coil in a step up transformer whereas the number of turns in the primary coil is more than the number of turns in the secondary coil in a step down transformer as mentioned before small transformers such as voltage stabilizers maintain a constant voltage by stabilizing the fluctuations in the voltage of an alternating current source step up transformers are used in power generating stations to transmit electricity at a high voltage so that it can be distributed to an entire city step down transformers are used in some stations within a city to distribute electricity at a low voltage to residences within a small locality let's summarize what we have learned so far okay my dear children so what all things you have learned today we have discussed about mutual induction is it what is mutual induction when two coils are kept side by side whenever there is a change in the primary coil and emf is in, induced in the secondary coil this phenomena is known as mutual induction 
and transformer is a device that works on this principle. Next one, what is a transformer? What is the use of a transformer? It is used to increase or decrease the AC voltage without any change in power. There are two types of transformer, step up and step down. Step up transformer is used to increase the AC voltage, whereas step down transformer is used to decrease the AC voltage. Okay, and we have discussed the relation connecting number of turns, voltage and current. Okay, so go through the class. If you have any doubts, you can contact me. So please, my dear children, after watching the video, read the textbooks thoroughly. Again, I am repeating it. Okay, and we will meet in the next class with another interesting topic. So that's all for today.